Like it or not, at some point, we all deal with PDFs. I'm sure you already know that we can drag PDFs into a node in Evernote, but there's more. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you. Let's start with the new feature. Now, if you export a node as a PDF, export as PDF, you get a preview page. Here you can select the paper. For example, I'm gonna change this for a more European style. <laughs> I have here portrait or landscape. You can work on the margins. You can even work on the page numbers. I can turn it on and select where in the page the numbers will be. And finally, under more options, there's a survey that I encourage you to take. Judging by the number of questions and all the details, I'd say Evernote has big plans for PDFs. So if you work a lot with PDFs, go take the survey. Okay, let's drag this PDF into this node because I have other things to show you. If you click this bar on the top of the PDF, you see some icons. Let's start with the three dots. Save as, open, and rename is kind of self-explanatory. So let's come here to these other options. If you choose attachment, the PDF will become a little attachment, just a bar. I usually set the PDFs as attachments, but there is another one that I like, single page. It's kind of a book format. You can flip through the pages down here. And the last option is a full size PDF. You see all the pages of that PDF. The last item is edit and annotate, but there's a quicker way to get here. If this is all you wanna do, just click the pencil. There's a lot you can do here, but if you are enjoying the video so far, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. These are only some of the options I encourage you to try and learn all of them when you finish watching this video. But let's talk about include annotations in summary. If this box is checked, when you save this PDF, Evernote will create a new page in that PDF. It's gonna be the first page of the PDF and it contains all the annotations you did. So this is the annotation page. You can see it's the first page and you can still flip and go to the other pages of that PDF. If you're not using the filter, give it some love. There are so many criteria that you can use to filter information. And the contains option has an incredible list of items. Among them, you'll find PDF. So I can filter all the nodes in Evernote that have PDFs. Here are all the nodes in my Evernote with a PDF file. Let me show you how powerful this can be. For example, I can look for all the nodes in my consulting notebook. Uh, now I have four notes, but let's say I want the, the notes with the student tag. I'll select student here. Now I have two notes and I want the ones with PDF files. Now I have one note that matches that combination. And since we are here, let me show you something. If you plan to use this combination again in the future, you can click the save search. Give it a name, for example, student plus PDF. You can even add it to the shortcuts from here. I'm not gonna do that, save. And now it doesn't matter where I am. If I click the search box, I'll see my saved searches. Let's say I have a lot of search here. I can, I can even filter them. Let's do this PDF. Here it is, student plus PDF. If I click it, Evernote will repeat that search for me. Can you see all the potential here? For example, if you have a PDF in a note, you can take your notes in that note. You can annotate the PDF itself. And if you use tags to categorize all that knowledge, the filter will help you find the information you're looking for. If for some reason the filter isn't enough, watch this other video and learn how powerful Evernote search is. And if you wanna keep learning how Evernote can help you organize your life and accomplish more, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.